for your COVID-19 vaccines. The governor's expressing optimism about vaccination efforts in the near future. And WGN's Jenna Barnes is live now in Chicago Heights with more on this tonight. Jenna. Ray and Micah, the governor was here today. He acknowledged the frustration so many people feel when they go online to try and book these vaccine appointments. But he also says the vaccine supply is increasing. Until the vaccine supply from the federal government increases, vaccination appointments will be scarce. So we're asking people that dreadful word, but we still have to say it, patience. Patience and preparation as Illinois plans to expand Group 1B to people younger than 65 with underlying health conditions beginning February 25th. I didn't want to wait any longer, but of course everybody is having to wait because there just aren't the vaccine doses available nationwide. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker says that's changing. Yesterday he says a record 95,400 people received doses. Just under 3% of the state's population has been fully vaccinated vaccinated. Supplies have been growing steadily and he's expecting it to continue for three reasons. First today, Walgreens pharmacies in the state are beginning to administer doses they're receiving directly from the federal government as part of a new program. Second, the federal government announced starting next week it'll begin to supply federally qualified health centers too, freeing up doses the states would normally provide. But for now, the governor says Illinois centers like Aunt Martha's in Chicago Heights are not on the first list of recipients. We want to make sure this gets distributed, particularly focused on communities that have been left out and left behind. FQHCs do a terrific job of serving those communities. So do the locations that Walgreens has chosen for those those doses to be administered. And the third reason, hope for the third vaccine. Johnson and Johnson's vaccine is going to come before the FDA and there's a great deal of optimism that they'll get their emergency use authorization and therefore we'll be able to begin to get those vaccines added on top of Pfizer and Moderna. For those reasons, Pritzker says he expects increased supply when Illinois opens phase 1B to people with underlying conditions. Chicago and Cook County have said they will not join the state in that expansion and there are lingering logistical questions about how to verify patients' underlying conditions. The director of the Illinois Department of Public Health is asking for honesty. It's very important that people are not trying to misrepresent any information and that we realize that there are people who absolutely need this vaccine more than, 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 than another person. Looking ahead at the timeline of this rollout, the governor said at this news conference, we can expect vaccinations to continue in the state through the summer. Live in Chicago Heights, Jenna Barnes, WGN News.